Jackie Jarvis. Until last night, it was a part of Jackie Jarvis's life that few knew about. I had an abortion in the early 1990s. Um, it was an unwanted pregnancy, but more than unwanted, it was as a result of what we called back in the day a date rape. These cases we'd call it sexual assault. I thought it was really important because lots of women face really tough decisions and I thought it was really important that I told my story and let other women know they're not alone. It happened in the years before WA legalised abortion. Ms Jarvis was in her 20s. Um, I didn't report that because of I'd been out drinking. I didn't report it because of what I was wearing. I was at a nightclub. I didn't report it because I had invited the perpetrator into my home. The revelation came during debate over reforms to WA's now quarter of a century old laws, including removing the need for women to undergo counselling before having an abortion. It was my personal decision and I did not require counselling and I, the idea that any woman should be forced to have counselling other than by a medical professional to outlay her options, I, as I've said, is quite frankly I find insulting. Many other MPs also supported the bill but it wasn't universal. Nick Garan said he was concerned about the treatment of babies who live for short periods after an abortion before quoting from parliamentary debate in 1998 saying abortion was comparable with with the genocide of our Aborigines, with the subjugation of women, with Nazism and with Pol Pot. I call on the leader of the Liberal Party to get this insidious and poisonous element of that political party under control. Both Liberal leader Libby Metham and Mr Garan gave written statements today. He says he won't be lectured on comments that were first made by a former MP, while Ms Metham accused the Premier of cheap political point scoring. Kate Burke, ABC News.